Hey guys, Snapchat Q&A, first question, let's go. Most of my friends won't go vegan because their parents won't buy them um, like special vegan stuff. What advice would you give to them? Easy, Easy. done. <laughs> <laughs> Whole plant foods, potatoes, rice, corn, pasta. Beans, or... legumes, don't worry about the fancy vegan stuff. So Fruit and you... veggies. Yeah, if your parents won't let you eat those foods, then that's kind of child abuse. I agree. <laughs> Hi guys, my question to you is what to do when there's two conflicting sources of information about whether something is vegan or not, like oysters, some people say yes, some people say Okay. Uh... When there's conflicting information about whether something's vegan or not, like oysters, for example. Is that what she said? Okay. Yeah. My response to that would be, why would you want to put that in your body anyway? Ew, it comes from the bottom of the ocean. Use common sense here. What is appealing to the eye? What is appealing to the taste buds? What is the things that we know are best for our health? Whole plant foods. Easy. Yeah, and the oceans are filthy anyway when it comes to you know oysters. We yeah. treat them like our public toilets and dump all manner of things into them. And also Emily from Bite Size Vegan has got great videos on some of those you know grey areas uh, like sugar and what have you. So check out her channel. Hey guys, my question is how did you guys meet and how long have you known each other for? Love you guys and all the work you do for the animals and planet and everything. Thank you. Also, do you guys have any like secret talents? Like do you play any instruments or art or something like that? Oh, that's sweet. So sweet, thank, thank you. you. Uh, where did we meet? Primary school, age 10. Started dating? 18. Uh, I was 17. <laughs> For stopped. four months. <laughs> and uh, yeah, been together... Ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's almost 18 years. Yeah. All married, how long? Uh, 11 and a half. Yeah. There you go. Um, Any special talents? <laughs> uh, we've tried to play the guitar at one point when we were in India. Oh god, that's tough. Uh, what yeah. else? Singing? I'm tone deaf, so no. <laughs> He's tone deaf and uncoordinated and you're I'm good, dyslexic. You're so. a good freestyle rapper, I reckon. I, yeah. It's very true. And you're a good whistler. Yes. We actually have um, two videos we'll link here. 50 Facts About Us. So um, you can watch that and find out a little bit more about all the weird things that we do. Yeah. But So I, I have flexible toes. <laughs> And I've got really long arms, so I can reach a lot of things. And I've got big hands, so I used to be able to palm a basketball. Fascinating. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, very and sweet. And you make ours. We love communicating on Snapchat. It's so much fun. Hi, I was wondering how to cope with family that don't understand veganism and don't appreciate it and think that you're just a crazy person. Okay, so we answered this in the last series of Q&As and we've covered this topic many, many times. We'll link a couple of videos here. Yeah, basically, don't waste your time, move on, spend time with people that are going to lift you and support your life and you're just going to have to deal with the people that are crazy and think you're crazy. And if you're still living at home, move out as soon as you can. So we've had a question from Maddie Spencer, it's a long one. She uh, is a new vegan. She bought a hair product that she didn't check if it was vegan or not. It turns out it was vegan, luckily, but she realized how easily you can make a mistake and buy a non-vegan product. So what advice do we have in that situation and have we experienced that? Okay, I would just stress, just read the labels, like make it a priority to read the labels. Mm. And if, if, no, if it happens, it happens, especially as a new vegan, you're still getting used to the whole thing of having to check. Mm. Um, we email companies if we're not sure. Yeah. And I don't know, I mean- We also check their websites. Yeah, I don't think we've had a situation like that. We don't buy a lot of products that are sort of iffy. No. Um, we, um, I guess we've been vegan so long now that we always read labels and we always email companies. Yeah, and that's If you're right. a new vegan, just make it a habit. Make it a priority to read the labels. Mm, but don't sort of, you know, fall apart and stress and it's the end of the world. It happens, learn from it and just move on. Hi guys, I love your videos and my question to you is what is your biggest pet peeve about non-vegans? Apathy. Yeah. Yeah, which is... Not caring. Yeah. Just not caring. Yeah. Especially when they know some information. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do these days because it's all over social media. It's even in the mainstream media. There's a lot of things being exposed about animal cruelty. And people just continue to find excuses and, oh, no, I'm not contributing that, which just doesn't make sense. So that apathy, that just inability to connect and feel and care and want to do something. I heard you guys say that you don't like Christmas decorations and I'm wondering if you celebrate any holidays. Um, if you don't, then can you tell us why you don't and include birthdays in that? 
<laughs> yeah. Well, let uh, me take this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Most of the holidays are built around consumerism. So you've got Easter and then before, when Easter's finished and the next one's coming along and the next one and all the way through to Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, you know, all of those things. It's all around consumerism and you know we're minimalists where you know every day is a celebration every day is a holiday every day is something to give thanks for so no we don't buy each other gifts anymore we used to we used to remember we'd have oh, oh my god oh my god yeah we every little occasion all, all out, all out all know, cards and flowers and Jesus, dinner we did and presents years, didn't we yeah, oh yeah. so much um and then you realize that it's just all it's bullshit, yeah. you know, it's, a, it's just a waste. There's no need to spend time, money, energy, resources contributing to something like that. No, we live every day as if it were our last in many respects. Like mm. we're very happy with the way we live each day. And so there's no differentiation between a birthday and today. No, and you're always giving somebody, you know, your love and your time and your energy and your appreciation. They're the gifts that we need to share with each other, you know, your health and mm. doing fun things together. You don't need to buy something. No, they're man-made constructs, yeah. really, those uh, holiday, you know, things. That looks fantastic. Nice work. Hi. So first, thank you for your videos. It's really, really helpful. Uh, I am French, so don't mind the accent. But I had a question about people that um, eat less animal products in order to be more vegan, but that are not vegan. They need to educate themselves. Once you've got all the information, and by that we're talking about the ethics by watching Earthlings, the health side of things by watching Forks Over Knives, and the environmental aspect by watching Cowspiracy, you've got all the information. If the person still chooses to consume animal products after that, that's apathy. So the question often comes up, you know, is it better that someone does a little bit of plant-based rather than not being plant-based at all, even though they're not 100% vegan? The answer to that is yes, but you can't rest on, on your laurels. Is that the expression? Mm. Yeah. So you can't just sit back and go, oh, well, I didn't eat meat on Monday, so I can have it for six days a week, you know, and I'm doing better than everyone else. You know, that's not okay. Again, replace the victim. Do we condone not beating your wife on a Monday or do we condone no rape on a Wednesday? No, we say it's not okay to have violence against women, children, and other, you know, humans seven days a week, 24 seven. So replace the victim. The answer is we need to stop it 100%. We don't have travel plans at the moment, but we do know that our visa is coming up at the end of February and we're going to have to go somewhere to get a new one. So that'll be travel at that point. Yeah, we've just immersed ourselves in Chiang Mai, immersed ourselves in our work and fitness and everything here and we're feeling really content. Yeah, fortunately we've got a lot of travel out of our systems over the last seven, eight years and you know, very happy to be doing what we're doing at the moment. Yeah. Well, hello, I'm a vegetarian. I eat like a vegan and would really like to become vegan, but my mom doesn't want me to. So if you have any tips... Yep, yep we've got a video. Yeah, watch this video and share it with your mum as well. That's important. Ah, how cute. <laughs> Not a question, just love your channel. Thank, Thank you. you. So I was wondering your guys' opinion on only a cat or dog and what to feed them because I feel terrible about contributing to the meat industry since I'm vegan, but I don't really know how to get around feeding him. Yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of vegan uh, dog food and cat food, I think, as well. We'll link some resources down below. I know Bite Size Vegans made videos, and there's a heap of information online. Also, um, adapt.org has yes. some good information. We'll link that below, too. My question for you guys, what did you both do for work in your pre-Thailand lives? Well, lots of things, actually. <laughs> Um, way back, I was a business banking manager with one of Australia's largest banks. I was a radio journalist and then I started working in corporate communications. And then we became yoga teachers. And we also worked as Reiki practitioners, we've worked, um, well, we volunteered with children in need and disabled adults teaching English. Well, we taught English in Thailand, uh, in rural Thailand for a while, that was very interesting, to teenagers in high school. Right. Drama. Um, <laughs> We've uh, worked at retreat centres as kitchen hands. Yes, yep, and um, run yoga retreats as well, vegan educational yoga retreats. So we've done a lot of things. Question, just wondering if you guys get bored of eating mostly the same thing every day. No offence intended, just that I wouldn't be able to have like oats, for example, every day. We have a video on this and it's already out actually, so <laughs> it's up there. 
Do you guys have any advice for anorexics? I know it's a pretty general question and I'm sorry about that. Definitely. We're going to link uh, some videos below from our friends Kiwi Katie Joe. Okay, that's the end of our Snapchat Q&A. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun doing this. We always love it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, thanks really for all good. the love, guys. Really appreciate it. Great to yeah. see your smiling faces. And if you're not already following us on Snapchat, please do so. We have lots of fun sharing little funny bits and pieces throughout our day. You see all of our food and generally the exercise that we're doing. So it's easy to follow this lifestyle and, you know, do it with us. Get the results. Snapchat for the win. Yeah. Like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next video. Bye guys. Thanks guys. It means it doesn't, it doesn't mean, mean eat 10,000 <laughs> calories, 80% of which come from carbs, so that's 8,000 calories, and you know, What's you won't gain weight. Stupid. That's real, that's being really silly.